Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all doing very well. My name is Uprising and thank you guys for joining me in today's video. I think it's a no-brainer that the Modern Warfare 2 changes that were made in that game are some of the most terrible gameplay decisions ever made to the Call of Duty series. And we've been playing this game over a decade, I'm sorry, game series over a decade now. And, you know, there's been a lot of gameplay changes. There's been a lot of different things over the years, you know, especially tax burn. That's a big change. And, you know, I could go into a bunch of different gameplay changes, but quite honestly, I don't really want to be talking too much about that. I'd rather focus on the bread and butter of this video. And, well, they have a Modern Warfare 2 Mosh Pit playlist available right now for Modern Warfare 3. Now, Sledgehammer this time around for Modern Warfare 3 changed a lot of the things from Modern Warfare 2. And keep in mind, I'm going to be saying those words a lot in this video, and I do apologize. But just to be frank, keep up with me on that. So if I say MW2, then you know what I'm talking about. MW3, you know what I'm talking about. So MW3 has different gameplay changes, and the creative class is set up differently compared to Modern Warfare 2's. Now, I absolutely despise Modern Warfare 2's creative class system, and it's just a grindy and tedious system. Now, don't get me wrong, Modern Warfare 3's grinding system or class system isn't perfect either. I've made a video on this, but I hate the armory system. That is absolutely terrible. You know, today I was trying to do a daily challenge, and one of those challenges requires me to use the drone, the one that launches and you can shoot across. Um, I can't do that challenge because I don't have that one, and I need that one to unlock a different challenge, so I have to wait. Now, I could go through zombies and do all that, but quite honestly, I think this is the worst incarnation of zombies ever made. Now, I could speak tons and tons of different versions of zombies. I know Vanguard is despised, never played it, so I never really want to talk about that. But I know this year's zombies, I tried it a couple times, and it's not really my thing, man. I don't like zombies in these big zones. You know, maybe I haven't given it a proper try. I'll be quite honest with you guys, but getting back to it now these gameplay changes on modern warfare 2 maps they feel amazing man this map it, i think it's called farm 18 this map should have been in modern warfare 3 okay and those gameplay changes that sledgehammer made is what the community wanted and it should have been modern warfare 2 but what it is is guys modern warfare 2 is like designed for players that are just terrible Right, it's punishing the casual player and it just wants to reward the trashy players. And that's quite honestly the truth, you know? And I don't wanna be rude about it, it is what it is. And that's why SBMM is in the game itself. It is terrible. And you know, you're gonna have to put your pride to the side if you actually wanna have fun with these games, you know? And I don't think skill-based matchmaking is going to be going away anytime soon. And that's just the honest truth. But playing these maps with the new gameplay changes has felt so different and felt actually pretty good. I will say that I've been having actually a little bit of a blast playing Modern Warfare 3 this time around. I've been actually putting in a few hours today and I'm having fun, man. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the gameplay changes. I don't know if it's the fact that I was on a winning streak, you know, I was getting these things. But maybe it's something about that. Now, Modern Warfare 3 is no perfect game you know it's actually rated one of the worst call of duties now as of now it is the worst call of duty considered by most i wouldn't say it's the worst call of duty ever and this game was never supposed to be made keep that in mind it was supposed to be dlc and instead of playing freaking 70 freaking dollars they you know they could have just released it as a map pack bundle and all that but it is what it is, man. I mean, I hope this Call of Duty cycle dies down one day. This game series just needs to be studied of why it cannot die. But man, this time around, it actually feels fun to play these maps. It just, it's just a big shame, man. We should have had those changes in Modern Warfare 2. You know, I don't think Call of Duty will ever be as good as it used to be. And that's just the unfortunate truth. 
But other than that, guys, I just wanted to make a quick video discussing my playthrough of the recent playlist of them adding the Modern Warfare 2 maps into Modern Warfare 3. Um, I'm definitely going to be exploring and trying out different things here in the next couple weeks for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. I do actually enjoy the game, believe it or not. I'm actually having a lot of fun. I know that's an unpopular opinion for this game, but yeah, I don't know. I'm just having so much fun. But other than that, guys, that's going to have to wrap up today's video. I hope you guys definitely did enjoy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.